Hi there, it's Nikki. I just thought I'd video myself making an ATC card for the Facebook group I'm in, All Things Creative. This is going to be for the March ATC swap. So, um, I'm very new to AC, ATC, ACQ, ACQ, <laughs> can't even get the words out. I'm very new to ACT cards. I've only made one before and here it is. This is the one that I made um, for the swap. This is going out to someone. And uh, so I've just got to make my second card now. So because I didn't video the first, I thought I might as well go ahead and video the second. All I'm using here are some distress inks. Just going to apply it in a couple of places on the card. And I'll be doing the same on the back of the card as well as on the front of the card. So the card that I'm using is watercolour paper, so it's not really card at all. <laughs> it's watercolour paper. Um, I have a lot of watercolour paper around the uh, place because I do occasionally um, I do occasionally um, paint some watercolour images. I'm not that good. I'm not that good at anything really. I've yet to find my true medium. Uh, I also have a bash at acrylics and card making. I'm better at card making than anything else, but until you actually go out and try these things, um, you'll never know what you're good at, will you? I'm not even thinking about where I'm actually putting the colours down, I'm just putting the colours down. watch a lot of women on YouTube create and video, video themselves at the same time and I never actually realised how difficult a thing it was to do so if I go silent it's because I'm concentrating and I'm not used to talking while I'm working usually I'm sat here either listening to YouTube other women on YouTube crafting or listening to some music so this is very strange to actually be sat here crafting and listening to something else. So I'm just going to fill in the centre now with the blue and I'm hoping that um, I'll get some mixes in with different colours but we'll see. might be kidding myself that the colours will mix. no idea really what I'm going to do on this card. I know that I want to put a bit of New Zealand on it. So that'll do I think. I might go back in with some pink and just bring up the pink a bit more if I can. Might be that the blue is going to be too dark on there. But I've lost the pinkiness of it and I quite like the pinkiness. So this might turn to purple, who knows. Never done this before, so... We'll see. Okay, so the three colours I've used there the distress sinks is worn lipstick, faded jeans, and mustard seed. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Let's see. When I say I want to put a bit of New Zealand on there, I have these um, 
a little bag of power shells. So it's just some shells. I'm going to just look for some thin and small thin and small pieces to put on the card. Oh look, this one that looks like a heart. That's sweet. Oh, what? Thin and small, there's a smallish one there. Might use that. Get rid of these bigger pieces. Sorry, it's very boring for you. I should have done this first. But I just only just decided to record this as I sat down to make the. That's cool. That one's got a hole in it. Could make a necklace or earrings or something with that. I don't have a drill, so I can't drill any pieces in anything else. So what was I saying? I don't know, can't remember. Yes, yeah, so I only just um what was another good shape one there. I only decided to record this as I sat down to to actually make the card, so this is going to be ad hoc as they say. I'm not prepared for anything. Because normally I'd be just be crafting and going backwards and forwards. I think that's the smallest pieces I've got. Out. Yeah, the rest are bigger and they're quite flat. So that'd be good. Okay. So what am I going to do next? <laughs> oh, just make it up as you go along. Okay, so send it up darker than I thought it would end up, but that's okay. You just got to go with how it is, haven't you? So let's see if I can find a nice little sentiment stamp to go on here. Friends, friends, everything is better with a friend. That sounds good, doesn't it? So I'm going to keep this simple. As I say, I haven't, I've only made one other card before. So, and I don't, so I don't really know. You know, I'm not really something. What am I not really? I don't know. <laughs> So I'm not experienced in this, and uh, so it should be fun. It should be fun because I've never done it before. I'm going to keep try and keep it as simple as I can too. So I'm just stamping this one up with um, some memento rich cocoa. Let's see what that's like. Put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Did that blind? Okay. Everything is better with a friend. Sweet. That's what I'm busy doing, is uh, trying to uh, meet like-minded crafting people. It would be nice if I could find some in my area in, <laughs> where I am here in uh, New Zealand. But I don't think there are many around. you're watching this New Zealand gals and you're in the South Island area contact me message me do something let's see if we can get together anyway if you'd like to be my friend go to um, 
all things creative on Facebook and join there and find me there. And you can message me and we can like be pen pals or whatever. Anyway, so there we go, there's that bit there. As I say, this is, um, I'm just making this up as I go along now. I have no idea what I'm doing. I did this in pencil first because, as I say, I didn't know what I was doing. Just do this. And this, and then we'll put some leaves on. Little heart-shaped leaves. <laughs> Lollipop flowers. And I'm just going to now use some glue. Super craft glue and attach these little bits of New Zealand. To my ATC card. She's going out to um, some girls in uh, America who've joined in the ATC swap, so I'm pasting this off to America. can't really uh, lift this up and move it about too much yet because I've got to wait for the glue to dry haven't I so I'm going to keep this quite simple because it's my first well it's my second card but my first attempt at doing ATCs and my first time recording myself um, doing any crafting apart from of course the faces the faces I've been drawing so I'm going. Um, I think I'm going to leave that like that. Don't think I'm going to do anything else to it. Ooh. I don't know. Let's see. Don't know how this will work, but you can. But try, can't you? Okay, and I'll call that done. So this was my ATC card for the AT, March ATC swap over at All Things Creative. It's one card, and that's the other card I've done. So I'll say bye for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you like me, thumb thumb ups me. <laughs> and subscribe and maybe we'll have some more chats later on bye mm, welcome back I was going to just share something else with you so I'll just quickly hop over here Some of you may or may not know that I have celiac disease, which isn't a um, dreadful thing. <laughs> it's actually, uh, what it means is that you can't eat certain foods that contain gluten. You can't eat foods that contain gluten, not certain foods. You can't eat foods that contain gluten, otherwise you'll be ill. One of the things that I miss, um, obviously, is uh, baked goods, because that's more difficult in the recent recent years uh, the baking has become better and better and there's this uh, really cute little cupcake shop that's opened up in Queenstown where I live and uh, and they do gluten-free cupcakes and so I bought a couple <laughs> which I'm going to eat over the next couple of days and here they are gluten-free cupcakes and they are delicious. They're pretty and they're delicious. Oh, 
tried not to get my fingers in it. So there you go, look. So this is the gluten-free cupcake with the icing on the top. So full of sugar and yumminess and yum, yum, yum. But uh, I'm actually um, saving them for the weekend because on Saturday I'm running a mountain marathon. So I'm going to need to replenish all my depleted sugar stocks. Yay! <laughs> so this is my treat for when I complete the marathon. So there you go. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.